Hi, Adam, back here at the Avid Stand at IBC 2012. Today I'm joined by Frank Caprio, Product Management for Interplace Fair. Frank, there's been a lot of buzz today at the show about the Interplace Fair product. Can you tell us a little bit more about what it does and who it's for and how our customers can work with it? Well, initially we're targeting it towards the news and broadcast segment, and that's because there's a need right now in broadcast to distribute their workflows, to get the journalists out of the office, out of the newsroom, and into the field, get making stories. And so the goal of Interplay Sphere was simply to take that media composer or that news cutter that is connected to Interplay, the, the Interplay work group, and allow the journalists to take it outside the firewall, bring it anywhere, anywhere they can get a public Wi-Fi, anywhere they can get a, 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 or bring along a 4G hotspot, anywhere they can get some sort of connectivity and have the full suite of media composer tools and their interplay assets available to them. We also looked beyond that. We thought, well, that's great. You can access your facility content from anywhere, but what's really important is that content you're gathering out in the field, the stories you're making there, getting that back to the station as quickly as possible. Not just for air, but for other people to work on it. You're covering that big story, can you get it there from your laptop at high quality? And, and that's what we worked on with Interplay Sphere. We also thought a journalist shouldn't have to learn a whole new tool set. So rather than creating a new web editor or creating a new application from scratch, we said let's bring this functionality into Media Composer mm -hmm. and let's make it as simple as a right click. Mm -hmm. You click on it, you say sync to sequence I'm working to with the Interplay system back at the facility, everything happens in the background. So, Frank, uh, obviously Media Composer 6.5 customers can begin working with Interplay Sphere immediately. Since Sphere is part of the Interplay family, what do Interplay customers have to do to get working with Sphere immediately? Basically, all they have to do is add a, uh, the Interplay Common Playback service to their system. It's the same playback service we use in Interplay Central. It's the same playback service Interplay MAM uses. It's a stream server that delivers frame accurate streams that the editor can grab and work with directly. So from an implementation point of view, that's all that's being added to the system. From there, the rest is handled through the Media Composer client. Some Interplay services that were customized for Sphere, the ability to send material back to the work group from remote destinations, the ability to transcode in the background and kick these services off has been added. So we've got a separate installer of Interplay services for the remote or distributed workflows. And that's really all there is to it. That's terrific, Frank. Where can customers go for more information and when will Interplay Sphere be available? It's available now, it's shipping. Uh, and customers can learn more at avid.com slash interplay. Terrific. Thank you so much for your time, Frank. That's it for Interplay Sphere at the Avid Stand at IBC 2012. See you soon.